So we've received a good amount of funding um, specifically to grow and improve our fulfillment solution. And so the impact specifically is going to go into helping us deliver a more all round solution because you have to understand each other. When we talk about fulfillment, it's more about it's more than just delivery, right? It's more than get your goods, pick them and take them to X place. Fulfillment as a solution involves different components. It's, you know, how do I manage my inventory? It's how do I look at invoicing and documentation? It's, you know, working capital and liquidity. It's what are all the hurdles that I need to overcome in order to get the goods that I need to get where they need to get. Um, and so this funding helps us unlock, you know, more solutions and easing some of the pain points that our customers face. To date. Now, the reason that we see this funding as pretty much a major news for the company is we know that Sandy has gone through some restructuring this year. Uh, we saw you had to mm -hmm. shut down some of your retail uh, and supplier trading platforms, and we also saw a number of job cuts. So give us some insight into how this, how the current global economic realities are impacting on your business and your operations, and how this new funding will sort of get you back. Uh, to where you were. You know, I love the fact that you recognize it's a global reality, right? And so this is not something that's necessarily unique to Kenya or to Sandy or Africa even. In, you know, in the recent weeks, we've seen global brands like Twitter and Facebook and Netflix, all of them have had to either close an aspect of their business lines or abandoned projects that they were taking on. I mean, just today, Meta has announced 11,000 job losses, right? And so it is a global reality. And, uh, you know, many people talk about being on the verge of recession. And so the impact is, is across the globe, but it's also felt closer to home by us and, and how that specifically impacts us as a business is adaptation, right? Um, what we are having to do is become sharper in our focus, you know, ask ourselves these big questions. What is our core? What is it that we're really good at? What is it that we do better than anybody else? What is the problem that we can say we have addressed in the best way? Where have we found the best fit for the product and the solutions that we offer? And for us, we find that fulfillment is that thing. Mm. It's what we have decided to give, you know, our full energy and attention um, not because these are the projects and business lines that we were pursuing were bad or were not profitable or were not solving real problems. In, you know, in times such as these, it doesn't help to try and do a lot of things. It helps to just focus on what you're good at. And so the current reality is, you know, Sandy is in a good place to tackle fulfillment. Having had, you know, eight years of experience, working with manufacturers, distributors, importers, all sorts of businesses and all sizes of businesses within Africa. Um, and so that's why we've decided to sharpen our focus and focus on fulfillment. Right. And of course, we know uh, uh, that the company had planned to raise about $100 million this year uh, in order to fund yeah. an expansion plan into Western uh, and Southern Africa. Give us an update on those plans. So we did go into Western Africa. We are currently um, we have four offices in Kenya, in Uganda, in Cote d'Ivoire, and in Nigeria. And by offices, I mean we have local presence, we have teams that are working there, we have operations. Um, and so we are active in, in all those markets. As a business, our hunger is to power trade in Africa. And so we do want to be present in the entire breadth of the continent. And so our expansion plans continue to feature moves into North Africa, into South and Africa, because you can't call yourself an African business if you're only located in two regions, right? Mm. And our expansion continues to look at, at the current, well, right now it's more on research for the North and the South, um, but we're using the local offices that we have right now in East and West and Africa to you know, move further into those regions. And one of the good things about our current partnership with MOL Plus is because of their strength in cross-border trade, in shipping, we're able to leverage on the back of that um, and expand within the regions that we're currently present in without necessarily having to, to um, 
go direct and set up offices in each and every country that that we want to have operations in and so expansion plans continue to be there in our future it's just that um, the manner in which we will do that differs from from previous plans